Oh man, oh man. Dare we say it? Dare we say that I'm back? I just finished my first run in like a month. And before that, like probably close to two months. Um, and I'm just, I feel in a good place to get back to it. Uh, physically, mentally, everything. I just, a lot of changes in my life over the last year. And uh, I want to get to that. And kind of do this as like a, um, here's where I've been, here's what I've been up to, here's what's, been go here's what's been going on, and then here's what's about to happen, here's what's to come in my life. And it's all good stuff, all exciting stuff, and I'm just grateful to be where I'm at right now. But before we dive into that, because I'm going to sit down with you all in just a second and talk about some things. That run, 4.02 miles, 34 minutes, 17 seconds, at an 8.32 minute mile pace. I just did it on the Assault Runner here in the Move Wall Gym. It's extremely hot outside and I wanted to take it super easy and as much of a controlled environment as I could. It's still hot as can be in this gym here, um, but better than being outside for the first one back. So I'm going to go cool down for a second, get some water, sit down, and then um, talk to you guys as I'm getting some work done. First things first, let's address... Uh, something that people may not even think much about it, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of a funny story to go along with it. So if you follow me uh, throughout my 75 hard journey, um, I made a video every single day of 75 hard, which I did starting like January 2nd or 3rd this year of 2024. And um, I made the joke in the first video that I told my wife that I'm going to do 69 hard. So I'm going to do 69 days of the challenge and then be done, obviously, as a joke. Well, it just so turns out that I only filmed 69 videos. So I did day one through 69, filmed, edited, and uploaded 69 videos to my YouTube channel here. Um, but I did complete the challenge, all 75 days. Uh, the last bit of the challenge, it was just very hectic. You maybe could tell that from the videos. The life just got busy. It's, it's a, it was a lot to film and edit and upload a video every single day. Um, and, uh, but it was something to hold me accountable. That was the sole purpose of, of doing that. And I did. I completed the challenge. I got in a really great place with nutrition and fitness, and I've been able to mostly hold on to that. But kind of where I've been since then is life, like I said, was just has been busy, and um, there are areas in my life that I felt I needed more attention in, and um, a lot of that I felt I needed to focus more energy into being a, a dad and a husband and to being a, a better worker, to focus more on work. My Where I'm at right now, I move well. And uh, so I kind of just like gave fitness a little bit of a break and still was just conscious of nutrition habits and um, just kind of took a step back for a bit and same thing with social media and just focused a lot of my attention at home and at work here and uh, nothing bad happened but I could just feel myself being consumed by um, areas that um, weren't as important as my family and work at the time and uh, so I took a step back and used the last couple months to like really dial that in and focus it in and I feel in such a good place with all of it and uh, I wrote down some stuff just to <clears throat> kind of update you guys um, so yeah once I once I got through 75 hard I knew I needed that challenge to kind of like snap me back into a groove of fitness and nutrition I got that out of it but then I started feeling a little bit consumed by that so again that's kind of why I took this step back so some updates hard to believe but Leah my daughter uh, Leah was our first child. She just turned one year old on July 20th, which is just absolutely insane. Cannot believe it's been that long. I felt like I was just filming a video saying that I'm going to be a dad, and uh, now I've been a dad for over a year. And uh, she is, oh, she's amazing. And uh, being a dad is <clears throat> my favorite thing. I'm watching my wife become a mom. It's been so special. It's been a learning experience for sure. Uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. And uh, it's so funny how your priorities are so different now. Or my priorities are so different now compared to what they were a year ago, two years ago. Uh, another update. Uh, I'm no longer affiliated with BPN. I still, I mean, I have so much BPN apparel, like the hat and shirt both. And uh, these are a lot of my daily wear stuff. But in terms of being an athlete or a creator with the brand with BPN, I'm no longer affiliated with them. Uh, it's no bad blood at all. There's just a lot of internal changes with that with the company with BPN. Um, still love the brand, love their products. I uh, love following Nick. He's a massive inspiration to me still. Um, but yeah, just going different directions. That happened uh, to a lot of people. So uh, just some internal changes to the brand. Again, no no bad blood. What they're doing is amazing. Uh, they're a phenomenal company. So just no longer affiliated. Still taking their products right now. Um, and I'm not really looking for anything 
like actively in terms of like a nutrition affiliate or like sponsorships in general. Um, the only one that's currently active, the only two I guess, is Shea Pure Naturals, which is the muscle CBD gel that I use. That's amazing. I'm still an ambassador with them, and then MS Run the U.S. Of course, love that brand, love that organization. They're awesome. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And then lastly, the reason I'm really getting back on training uh, right now is because I'm about 17 and a half weeks out from my next race. I signed up for a 50 mile trail ultra marathon. Um, this race, this race is called the Crooked Creek Ultra. Again, it's a 50 mile trail race and it's in the Louisville, Kentucky area. And it's an awesome race. And I actually filmed a podcast on this race and um, talk, talking about what it is. So I'll try to remember to put the link to that podcast in the description of this video. So you can go listen to it and I give like a course description on it. Um, and I go a little bit more into detail about what the race is, like elevation map, those types of things. So yeah, Crooked Creek Ultra 50 mile trail race is going down December 6th. So uh, the very end of this year and then next year, I've already got some big things on the radar. And uh, I'm not going to share anything, obviously, until it's all set in stone. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But one other thing I want to share, and then I'm going to get some more work done and then check in whenever I get home and show you guys Leah, because Leah is so big now compared to the last time that you probably saw her on my, pay, on my channel. But the last thing, one thing I'm really excited about that I'm working on with work right now here at Move Well is I'm, I help with, the direct, with directing the race, the Hot Rod Ultra, which is an ultra marathon that happens here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, I'm not going to go too much into details on it and blow you guys up about it. If you follow me on Instagram or other social, I've given a ton of details. But I highly encourage you to sign up for the Hot Rod Ultra. Uh, Chad Wright is coming to speak the night before the race, and he may potentially be racing on race day. We have incredible sponsors for the race. Uh, Barbell Apparel is giving all runners a free T-shirt and a bag and some swag in their bag. Swag bag. And then uh, First Form is going to be coming out, and they are going to be setting up their armored truck, giving out free products, having a table set up at the race, interacting with the runners. So it's going to be amazing this year, seriously. Go check it out at uh, hotrodultra.com, uh, or you can look it, look it up on Run Sign Up. It's not on Ultra Sign Up, it's on Run Sign Up. But you can just go to hotrodultra.com to check it out and uh, learn more about the race. It's going to be awesome. But I'm going to hammer out some more work here, and then I'll check in in a little while. Also... <clears throat> I've been on such a sunflower seeds kick. I played baseball growing up like my whole life, so I always ate seeds. And I just like took a hiatus from them pretty much in college. But lately, I've been tearing them up, and this is the best flavor. Right here, David brand, sweet and spicy, next level. I mean, it's like a perfect sweet and spicy mixture. But uh, I'm not built like I was back when I was a kid. I can, like, you know the little single packs i can go through like two of those a game this bag will last me a little bit after about six or seven handfuls my jaw starts getting all but it's a great way to just snack throughout the day too plenty plenty of sodium in this but this is like my sixth handful today so i'm starting to hit my wall let's go all right, calling it a day at the office here. And uh, now, now I'm headed to Kroger uh, because we have a click list to pick up. So we've, um, we started using click list, Kroger click list like months ago, pretty much once around the, time, around the time Leah was born. And it is game changing. One, we save so much money because we plug everything in on the Kroger app. And, you know, when you're in a store, it's very easy to overbuy or get stuff that you didn't need in the first place. I'm really bad at it. So we save a lot of money. It saves us a ton of time because you pull in, and I've never waited more than, like, five to seven minutes for them to come out, load in your car for you, send you on your way. So heading to Kroger right now, going to get that, and then uh, head home, meet with the girls. Well, I don't see that a one-trip chip is going to get the job done today. That's my uh, grocery carrying character. One trip chip. I don't know. We might be able to make it work. Let's see. All right, Ruby, keep an eye on the camera while I go get the groceries. Let's see if uh, let's see if Chip's gonna bring the groceries in or if it's gonna be a uh, one trip chip or double trip loser. We'll see. All right.
One trip chip. One trip chip. He gets it done, ladies and gentlemen. He gets it done with the rip bag. They didn't put the frozen food in the paper bag. The brown bag. I would have got everything without a rip bag, but we did it, baby. Woo! All right, I'm going to bring you all for a little, little unboxing here. Uh, from Burley Bow. So if you don't know Burley Bow, it's an outdoor slash active wear company um, out of Texas, out of Dripping Springs, Texas. And uh, I love this company. I've had their shorts um, and other uh, pullovers, like active wear pullovers, like the thin ones, and I love them. So I ordered, they just redid their logo, and it is sick. It is so sleek. Um, and I got some of their new gear with the, with the logo on it. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick what that is. Let's see what we got here from Burley Bow. So yeah, their uh, their logo before was was pretty cool in my opinion, anyway. But uh, but their new logo is so sleek. All right, so first thing, this Burley Bow Outdoors hat, which is sick. I love this. Oh yeah, here's the new logo. They actually have it on their their liners, their hat here. So it's kind of like that sleek, like modern, active looking bee. It is dope, and uh, I don't think I have anything with their old logo. You can just go check them out uh, and see their old stuff, but yeah. New lid. Oh, man. I like the way that fits, baby. Now, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Next up, we got the uh, Burley Bow Tee with the new logo. So I went with like a gray. I have so many black clothes, not a lot of light gear. So I went with like the lighter gray pocket tee here. Got the B, burly bow on the front, and then on the back here. And here's what I'm most excited for, their running shorts. These are five inch inseam, I believe, which is like the minimum length short I'll wear anyway. But when I run ultras, typically I, um, oh yes. Okay, I've some, I thought these were brief liners, which is fine, but when I run ultras, I like to have like the longer compression liners, um, just because it protects me from chafing much better. Um, but yeah, these are sweet, dude. Love these. Like a uh, active wear, super sick. And there's their their logo, the new the new B. Uh, yeah, I love this. So here here was their uh, here it is. Here was their old old B right here, old logo. Like that's more like a classic like Southern gentleman type or Southern Tide type vibe. But this one is 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 pretty sweet, the new one. So yeah, love these. Got the the zipper pocket on the back here. Uh, full size pockets on the front. Thank you. Hard to find good running shorts like that. So I'm gonna, I can already tell I'm gonna like these, but uh, I will have to let you all know on my on my Instagram story how they fit. But anyway, that's the haul. Uh, Emily and Lee are on their way home. Uh, I'm gonna put the groceries up. I went from my click list. Uh, check out Burley Bow. They're an amazing company, and the dude Trey who runs it um, is just an awesome, awesome dude. So check out Burley Bow. Leah, well, yeah. you say hi. You see yourself? Say hi. Look how big she is. Big girl. Say hi. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Say I'm one. Uh, oh, I did. We're keeping it short and sweet today. We're going to do dinner. Leah's going to have some chicken, rice, and some veggies. And then uh, me and Mama are going to have tacos, ground turkey tacos, and Ruby is going to have ground turkey and venison like she has almost every night. So, say thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, y'all.